that's a that's... cool jacket, Kevin. Nice. And you know what? It's free because you didn't have to go buy one. You just yeah. took a sweater and you just cut it. Uh -huh. Did they trim that good enough for you? They left that long one up there on top. Is that okay? Yeah, it makes really good stuff. Oh, it's way cool. That'll be really good mulch for the garden. You want to show everybody your uh, your jacket that you made? Uh huh. Man, I stepped in that hole again. <laughs> That's a That's... cool jacket, Kevin. Nice. And you know what? It's free because you didn't have to go buy one. You just yeah. took a sweater and you just cut it. Uh -huh. But what if you want to close it? That is the problem. Is You'd have to sew it up again and then cut it every time that you want to close it. <laughs> <laughs> So we're getting our trees trimmed before we do the goat area. These trees really need to be trimmed and there's branches that fall down all the time. So we don't want that to happen when we have our nice fencing up. Those are big trees. miss the coop. I really hope they don't hit my chicken coop. Oh. These trees just get so big, man. There it goes. Oh. Oh. Remember how you, when you wanted to trim the trees yourself? Remember that? <laughs> Remember that time when I was like, no. I just have to buy the climbing equipment. You already have the climbing equipment. You got this cool sweater. No, I don't have all those cool leg braces and climbing things. Kevin, there's no way in hell <laughs> you could go up there and cut it all without dying. <laughs> there are reasons why people are good at what they do. They've been doing it for a while. Well, we ran into a problem. We tried to take down this last tree and there are thousands of bees inside of it. So we're trying to discuss our options because the tree guy says it's all hollowed out and there are all these bees in it. He thinks we should just take down the entire tree, which we do have a lot of bees around here. So maybe that would be a good idea. But Kevin wants to keep all the shade. I thought it would be the same price, you know, because cutting down is easier than trimming. But it wouldn't. It's expensive. That's okay. Kevin's negotiating, and negotiating makes me uncomfortable. So I can't be out there while they're doing it. If they were like two thousand dollars, I'd be like, okay, <laughs> sounds good. Lydia, what are you doing? You a sewer? You a sewer lady? Seamstress, it's called. You <laughs> sewing, lady? You sewing a rock? <laughs> what? To lay on it, and it'll be like so comfortable. Okay, you'll have to show us when you're done. Sorry. <laughs> just dropped your phone on the ground. Yeah. What are you playing? I'm playing all these uh, Disney songs and things on How fun. Broadway television movies. So That's way has... cool. Which one are you best at? Um, pretty good a few. Okay, play it for us. Put on the spot. Go. Okay. We'll have to show later why you're making these rocks. Yes. Are you done negotiating? Yeah. What did you negotiate? Speaking Spanish doesn't get you a better deal. <laughs> it doesn't? Still $900.
But wasn't it gonna be more than that or is it, he just didn't budge on it? That was, that was it. Yeah, he was gonna charge more than that. He didn't want to take any of the branches, but I told him he needs to take the branches, the small branches, you know, all the... I'm just gonna take the troncos, the trunks. Okay. And so, we need everyone's advice on YouTube. What do you do with cottonwoods? Apparently yeah. we have to take this one down because there's bees everywhere in it. They just get all hollow and tons of bees and... So what did the guy actually say? Like, he just, he just cuts it down and then the bees just fly away. We'll see. We're gonna go <laughs> early in the morning while they're all frozen and asleep. And so all right. Cut it down and then we'll see if maybe I can. If go we need to exterminate them, them or not. One thing you have to know about Arizona too is that we tend to get really aggressive bees. We get those Africanized bees a lot, and so um, they attack us. We've always just kind of dealt with them and left them there, and we weren't sure if they were gone, but. As they were out here just working on these two trees and trimming those, the bees were just getting really aggravated. So I guess we're gonna take it down. Lose our shade and everything. I know. It makes me sad. Yeah. We do have all these trees that provide shade, but. Well, I'm glad I had the idea to trim these trees before we put up the goat fencing or else we would have had to deal with this and have them try to take down a tree around the fencing, which would have been really impossible. I don't know, any advice for us? It's so cool to have these 30 year old trees, but then, you know, we run into problems like this where we have these rotting trees that we have to get taken down. It's kind of a bummer.